This video has been produced by staff of the University of Pretoria. Welcome. In this video, you're going to learn about the accounting equation. The accounting equation is the fundamental concept in double entry bookkeeping. So I'm going to tell you a story to explain the equation. I hope you enjoy it. To start, we're going to represent the accounting equation with three blocks. On the left hand side, we have one big blue block. This blue block represents the assets of a business. Assets make us happy. They're the things we own in the business. We use these to make money. On the right hand side, we have two smaller red boxes, which represent where we get the money from to pay for the assets. The first red box represents equity. This is the amount the owner puts into the business. The second red box represents liabilities. These are amounts that other people provide to the business. We have to pay those people back, so we represent this with an unhappy face. In business, we have to get our assets from somewhere, either through equity or from liabilities. So we can say that assets, the blue box, must always be equal to the two red boxes, equity plus liabilities. You should now be able to see that the assets, the happy face, minus the liabilities, the sad face, is going to give us the equity of the business. That's what the owners put into the business. Our story starts with Nandi, who just had a birthday party. She got a lot of money for her birthday and she's celebrating. Nandi is an entrepreneur at heart, so she has an idea she'd like to use the money to make more money. So she decides she's going to start a lawn mowing business. It will be a good way for her to get exercise and to make money at the same time. Nandi is very excited. She heads to the lawn mower store and buys herself a lawn mower and she pays 5,000 Rand for it. So Nandi now has the first asset of her business. Her asset is the lawn mower that cost 5,000 Rand. She's going to use it to make money. In our accounting records, we call the lawn mower equipment. Nandi used her own money to buy the lawn mower. In the business, we call this capital. It's the first part of equity. We'll show you other parts of equity later. She's the owner of the business, and this is her investment of 5,000 in her business and liabilities are zero. So the blue block assets is 5,000, the red block equity is 5,000, and the two blocks are equal. So we say that the assets of the business called equipment increased by 5,000, and the capital of the business, that's part of equity, increased by 5,000. So Nandi now has a lawn mower. What else does Nandi need to get started? She realizes she needs cash to buy petrol and she also needs clients to cut their lawns. So Nandi decides to phone her Uncle Bob and he kindly agrees to lend her a thousand rand. Uncle Bob is also very supportive and says he will ask a few of his friends to let Nandi cut their lawns for them. Nandi opens a bank account for her business. She puts the thousand rand from Uncle Bob into the account and she now has an asset of a thousand rand. We call the asset bank. Nandi got the money from Uncle Bob who said she can pay him back in two years time. So the one thousand rand is a liability. We call the liability loan from Uncle Bob. So her assets are one thousand and her liabilities are one thousand. And in this case, the equity is zero. So we see that the blue block and the red blocks are equal. We say that the bank balance, the asset, increased by 1,000 and the loan from Uncle Bob, the liability, increased by 1,000. So if we put these two transactions together, we see that Nandi now has two assets, 1,000 Rand in the bank and equipment of 5,000. She has a loan from Uncle Bob, a liability of 1,000 and her capital in the business is 5,000. So her assets, equals equity plus liabilities. The next day Nandi is very excited because she gets a call from one of her uncle's friends to say she should come and mow her lawn. Nandi needs petrol for a lawn mower so she first goes to the garage and uses the debit card that she was given for her business bank account and buys 50 rands worth of petrol. So Nandi has spent 50 Rand buying petrol and this means that her bank account balance has reduced by 50 Rand. 
She spent the 50 rand on petrol for her lawnmower. This is an expense of her business. She had to spend this money to be able to mow the friend's lawn. Expenses reduce equity of the business, so we give expenses a sad face. In this case, there is no effect on liabilities. So we see that assets, the bank balance, has decreased by 50 rand and equity has decreased by 50 rand because we had a fuel expense of 50 rand. So the blue and red blocks are equal. So Nandi spent an afternoon mowing the friend's lawn. And she got 120 rand for her first job that she'd done. Nandi put the 120 rand into her bank account, so her balance increases by 120 rand. The 120 rand she received from her first customer is income for her business. She earns income by mowing people's lawns and income increases the equity of her business. So we give income a happy face. And in this case, there's no effect on liabilities. So we see that assets, the bank balance has increased by 120 rand and equity has increased by 120 rands worth of income. So the blue and red blocks are equal. So if we put the last two transactions together, the effect on assets is that Nandi's bank balance first went down by 50 rand for the money she spent on fuel and then increased by 120 rand for the money she got for mowing the first customer's lawn. The net effect is that her bank balance went up by 70 rand. So what is the effect on the red blocks going to be? Equity is affected. The income she earned of 120 rand increases her equity and the fuel expense of 50 rand decreases equity. So the net effect on equity is that income minus expenses gives her an increase in equity of 70 rand. And the effect on liabilities is zero. So we see the increase in her bank balance of 70 rand is equal to the increase in equity of 70 rand. So the blue and red boxes are equal. If we put all of the transactions together, we now have the following. Nandi's first asset is equipment of 5,000 Rand. Her second asset is the money in the bank. She started with 1,000 Rand from Uncle Bob and then her balance went up by 70 Rand, the 120 from the customer minus the 50 for fuel. So her remaining bank balance is now 1,070 Rand. Nandi's equity is now 5,070 Rand, which is the 5,000 capital she introduced when she bought the lawnmower, plus the 70 Rand, which is the difference between the 120 Rand income and the 50 Rand fuel expense. Finally, her liabilities are 1,000. This is the loan from Uncle Bob. So you see her assets are 5,000 plus 1,070, which is 6,070, and this is equal to her equity invested in the business of 5,070 plus the loan from Uncle Bob of 1,000 means that the two red blocks add up to 6,070 and the assets, the blue block and the red blocks, equity and liabilities are equal. So Nandi has assets of 6,070. If we take away her liability of 1,000, it leaves her with her equity of 5,070. So this is what we call double entry bookkeeping. Every transaction in the business has at least two effects that have to be recorded and assets must always be equal to equity plus liabilities. This is the end of the video. I hope you found it useful. Until next time, keep calm and study accounting.